I told you during the campaign I wasn't going anywhere. Right. That we set up a headquarters here in South Los Angeles during the campaign, our number one office, more volunteers than anywhere in the city. And I said, if I have the honor, the responsibility of being your next mayor, I will be here. And this is my covenant with you today. Right. Not just for press conference, not just for an event. Those are important. You gotta show up and be seen. Not just in crisis, like after the Trayvon Martin verdict came down, my first week, second week in, boom, we were here day after day after day meeting with young people to show the positive face and vision of what this community needs. But a permanent presence is different than a momentary one. An office is different than a podium. And for me, that's what today is about, plain and simple. To let you know that I am your mayor. I'm excited to be your mayor. And what that means is that we will be present. And I love, I mean, a good thing that Pastor Sauls wasn't running for mayor because I probably would have just supported him. <laughs> but we will transform that desk into so much more along those lines. And just let me know, because, you know, there's some tough days ahead too. But the things that you have put up here that want to see a community youth center, that grid is important because we can brag about it being the safest city, and thank you to our LAPD, that it is statistically the safest that it has been in my lifetime. But we know there's pockets where it doesn't feel safe still. A leadership academy, because this isn't about you begging government, it's about you being government and becoming the leaders in the community. About a clean and green and graffiti free community. About an office that works closely with community based organizations that knows what we know and knows what we don't know. About making sure that there's healthy grocery stores so that your zip code doesn't determine the quality of your produce. And we have emergency and crisis housing for homeless youth so that nobody, and with all due respect to my great commissioner, it is not going to be an endless problem, and especially with this commissioner working on it as well, homelessness, we can solve chronic homelessness, youth homelessness, veterans homelessness in our time here in the city. So these things become the work that we will do long term, but the meetings that we will have like today are the is the uh, vision I want to have as a mayor. This is the fourth office hours I've done. And we're gonna do them regularly, and community walks too. We've done them in City Hall, and in Van Nuys, and on the street in Boyle Heights, and now in South Los Angeles, and in Venice. In Venice, when we did our first community walk, I was hoping to have two dozen people. Guess how many showed up? 200 people, door to door. There was an African American woman who is in charge of the food pantry at the Baptist Church, living right next door to the Lithuanian grandmother, next door to the tattooed rock star, or aspiring rock star, because we're, we're all an aspiring rock star in Los Angeles. <laughs> living together with the same hopes and needs and dreams for their community. And that's what this is about today. So, stay active. I need you. In service directly, but in service indirectly. To find those people who don't feel enfranchised, who feel the government has given up on them and send them, whether it's in person here, whether it's calling here, whether it's tweeting. And if you know what tweeting is, ask your neighbor next to you, what's tweeting? <laughs> Anybody? All right, good, everybody's tweeting now. <laughs> we have a hashtag, LA Mayor, and you just send a message, and I see it. If you go to our website, lamayor.org, you'll not only see places to get help, but you'll also see our performance tracked. We just launched that this week on my 100th day that we're putting up there the statistics. Where we fall short, you will see it, and where we're doing well, you will see it, because that's what you deserve, full information, not just propaganda that everything's great. Yeah.